Okay, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. As you can see, we're down here at Casper, Wyoming. I just finished recording a really good episode. Driving from, where were we? We were in Sheridan, or no, we were in Gillette, where we ended up in the end of the last video. We were in Gillette. I drove down, made a delivery here in Casper had the FaceTime camera on and everything and when I made the delivery and I stopped and I was getting the stuff together to edit the video all I had was FaceTime video my gameplay didn't record so what we're gonna do so I can get an episode for you everybody I am going to do this lumber and we're gonna run down to Rollins. Okay. Should be awake enough to make this run, I hope. It's only 5.30. And uh, I have a half a tank of gas, so should be okay. It was a double trailer with air conditioning units, which you should be able to see it. It should be in my tail. I should be able to see it. Yeah, see that trailer? It's a double trailer with uh, air conditioning units on it. We'll drive past it. That's the one I just delivered. Why does it look like I'm... It's only taking me a little ways to pick up the load. Unless it's just not showing up on the map right now. <laughs> Stuff like that that irritates me <laughs> when I don't get... Oh, and it's gonna rain too. Oh my goodness. That's the trailer I just drove. And it was a good it was a good run. Now maybe it won't rain too much. We're making our route heading south every time so we can get down to the tech dick down to Texas or are you gonna yeah you gonna keep going okay <laughs> oh, the video would have been would have been cool because I had the it was me but there was no truck <laughs> it was just me talking at the camera and I didn't have the camera volume on so it was just me lip, you could see my lips moving but you couldn't hear anything because I had recorded with my webcam and I was just going to overlay in the corner with the audio from the game. Oh well. We will make this run and hopefully it'll be a fun run. Uneventful. <laughs> and we'll just talk. <laughs> um, I just try to think all the stuff that I had talked about, you know, like I said before, when I go that whole time talking to myself and then it doesn't actually get done, then I feel like, okay, I just sat here and talked to myself for the last hour. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to hear what I said. I'm like, oh boy. Yikes.
Casper. Just talking about how this game would make like an incredible city skylines to like this kind of graphics if this is actually the, the graphics that they showed in the trailer were better than what this is but this is I would it would be cool to have a game that looks like this the buildings and the roads and the cars and all that and to be able to like build your own city like do suburbs and, and downtown and all the different you know like businesses and stuff like that it would be incredible to be able to then jump in a car or jump in a truck with the steering wheel and just make deliveries like go from your coal plant and load up on coal and then run to the power plant or, or go load up on gas take or oil and go take it to a fuel refinery um, or even just be a citizen and go driving to uh, your home or to your business or to a, a park or a zoo or something like that that you make place all these items like the trees make just from the ground up like like city skylines but where you can interact with it and you'd have people you know like you could take control of any of the people in the on the map that's my dream game and after seeing the trailer for city skylines 2 i was kind of look feeling like hey maybe my dream was coming true i think that's why i'm most disappointed about the screenshots for the xbox i know pc is going to be better than the xbox but i was just it, it's kind of a letdown when you see something so amazing and then they show us something that is actually what we're going to get that's not so amazing. Someday, technology must not, not be there yet or something, but, you know, we get games like this, or we get games like Grand Theft Auto 5, or um, Red Dead Redemption, all those realistic-looking Okay, we got our load. Let's take her out. The short trailer, the shortest one I've had for, in a while. I've been running mostly long trailers or double trailers. The last record, not record, was uh, was that double. And I think that was my second double ever. Whoa! Make that corner a little fast. <laughs> See, that's what it, I think the first part of this was uneventful because I was more relaxed and not quite as irritated after not recording. Go drink and drive text and drive. Don't be irritated and drive. <laughs> oh, hey, the yellow. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few raindrops on the, on the windshield. a game you would play. You know, kind of combining your truck drive, you know, driving simulator and your city builder would be amazing in my opinion. Whoa. <laughs> no 
Okay, there's that train up there. Let's see if that should be a long one. Yet again, another mod that improves the game. That's one thing modders are really the unsung heroes of most of these games. The, they they do all the heavy lifting for the companies that put these games out. They, it seems like they give us a base game that doesn't look all that great and then the modders make it more enjoyable to play. Well, even like this one, it's like the Exxon and all these companies and trailers, everything, the real life um, companies and stuff, that's all mods. A lot of the um, environments, like improved like sound effects and storm rain and things like that, it's all mods. A lot of these games I don't think I could even stand playing if I didn't have the, the mods to play them. over their shoulder, make sure that they don't put anything on it, you know, make sure it's, it's safe for you and stuff. So I was like, oh good, thank you, I appreciate it. You know, a lot of places, the best place is like, there's a the Dairy Queen here by my house, they're really good about it, and the, um, where's the other place, uh, Culver's, all the Culver's, they're really good about protecting you from allergens and things like that allergies. Well, McDonald's, I felt good about it. I was like, okay, good. You know, he was going to watch out for me. And I get the burger, I open it up, and there was a chunk of onion the size of my thumb right in the middle of the burger. I took I took it back and said, you know what, you, oh, you could have killed me. I put it on the table and I, I said, I want my money back now. And I have not stepped foot in a McDonald's since. <laughs> Just outright <laughs> bad. I've, I've had where uh, a Hardee's I took and got, you know, I told them about the onion and stuff, and they they were thought and were careful. About a piece got into the it was a hot ham and cheese. There's not even supposed to be onion in a hot ham and cheese. And I was driving at the time. I was coming from here going to Illinois. And I bit into it. And I contained I spit it out as quick as I could, but I started having an allergic reaction. So I took a Benadryl and I went back to the to the Hardee's and f filled out paperwork and complaint and stuff and hung out at Hardee's for quite a while until, I, until the Benadryl kicked in and, and then that made me sleepy which I still had like six and a half seven hours of driving to do that day so I'm very picky about where I eat and stuff because of an, uh, my un onion allergy let me know in the comments is there anything that you're allergic to 
share your stories. How you how did you find out that you were allergic to it? we could try to do that we can always skip it if we don't if we're not able to get it parked so that's one thing with the uh, steering wheel I haven't like when I used to do these big long backup parks and stuff I was uh, I was just using mouse and keyboard, and I would change the camera angle so I could, could look. But now it's, you know, I'm doing the, trying to do it with mirrors. I think I didn't pull far enough forward. I need to be able to get more of an angle.
Ooh. I'm just a little bit off of it. Oh, no. oh shoot. I actually did that the last uh, run and I got another skill upgrade and stuff let's kind of go through this um, this is my career uh, we are at level 32 18 wheel skills uh, we've got uh, total mass delivered 5 million pounds total deliveries 1,000 148 companies served 46 of 99 depots served only 208 of 1317 most common delivery empty pallets <laughs> I didn't realize that 145 excellent ratings too late one satisfactory on time 146 on damaged 147 map explored only 32 percent of the map is explored cities discovered 135 of 180 states visited 12 of 12 which that doesn't make sense to me because i have not been to the texas yet i just got that dlc not too long ago and i've not been down there yet i'm not sure why it's not showing that uh truck dealerships only 28 of the 73 recruitment agencies only 21 of 52 viewpoints played oh okay this is the um oh is that those um places with scenic spots only 11 of 100 holy cow i've got a lot to do <laughs> on that uh truck zone i've got five truck types used for jobs seven different truck types uh most common is the kenworth that's my favorite one to drive total distance driven uh, 56,876 miles that's uh, with loads and without total driven distance on duty 54,459 I own four garages I employ five employees and I own four trailers real time spent in game 102 hours and 35 minutes game time spent so basically like the game time so it's 10,312 days and nine hours and the penalties I have that penalties turned off so I, that's not going to show anything delivery log this shows all of the different deliveries that I've done I didn't realize I had quite so many like palleted um, loads I think it's from when I using my own trailers that I have but it's cool it shows how far each of the deliveries was where they were from what company they were from stuff like that that's really cool okay well if you're listening to this that means it recorded <laughs> and I released it so thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it. let me know in the comments uh, what you think and or just say hi and I will talk to you later Son of a southern man, daughter of a free man, children of the Civil War. Blackbird on a limb, both of them diving in deeper than they've been before. And I oh, 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 down a red dirt path, covering their tracks, strangers in the light of day. 
can't fight, it can't stop And if they get caught, it's gonna be hell to pay